Please, where's the record button? This is a great start already. <laughs> Can you see? Oh, you can't see the sound on this side though. So I can't tell if we're being too loud. You got to calm down. You're being too loud. <laughs> Hello! Okay. <laughs> I'm Julie. And I am Alyssa. And we're stitching at the cabin. And we did stitch at the cabin this last weekend. We did. Yeah. We're not stitching now and it's still no. not the cabin. No. Nope. This is my timeout room. This, this is, is a different room! Thank you. Because we had to get away from the birds and from the family. And so we decided to sit on the floor of the thinking room. But that's my thinking chair. See the blues clues? Red ish well, chair. Yeah, you seat. can't really see it because, you know, we're in the way. But, but there you it, go. it even has like the swirlies on it. Like, it's like, That's you true. know, the, the little booze. It's true. And then this is Foot Wombie. You can't see Foot Wombie, but he's cute. He's, he's so usually busy. facing the other way and I have my feet on him while I sew. Stitch. Yeah, I'm but, already getting in trouble. Stitch. Stitch. I don't sew. Well, Ooh, and it turns out I lied in the last episode, so I have to fix it. I lie. What'd you lie about? I realized that my hate is not my first cross stitch, like you were saying. Uh huh. Uh huh. It was much more recent. <laughs> I don't know why. Why didn't you just say that's what it. Well, because I thought because it was going to be a gift that you didn't want to tell anyone. No, I, I just know. totally forgot about it. <sighs> anyway, this is Stitching at the Habit. Yes. Welcome back if you're back. Thank you. Yes. If you're new. Yay! Great. It's quiet this time. You'll like it. Oh, it's so much better. Even I'm more relaxed. <laughs> and thank you to Christine for shouting us out. Yes. Thank you. We went from like two subscribers, us, yeah. to like 50. <laughs> Whoa! Seriously, like we had the bar set pretty low. Like before in the last video, we were saying that we just were doing it pretty much for us. And like if mm -hmm. other people wanted to participate, that would be great. But, uh... Man, I didn't expect more than 100 views, and we're sitting at a little more than 200. That's and then awesome. this morning we checked it, it was more than 50 subscribers. So, I mean, that's shocked face. mind blowing for us. We was appreciate that shocked it. Face? That was Did you just shock face? face. <laughs> I saw it out of the corner of my eye. Is she yawning? <laughs> Burping? Okay. I'm not bullied yet. <laughs> you might be. I'm not. <laughs> so, thank you. Yes. Like thank a you. lot. So, Please continue watching. Comment. Well, yeah, please comment because I didn't comment on people's before a whole lot because I felt like, eh, what am I gonna say? That's beautiful. Everybody says that. Who cares? No, I kill. I kill a lot. I kill what you say. I <laughs> bit my <laughs> tongue in my mouth. I bit it yesterday and it's swollen. So it's puffy a little uh -huh. bit. On the I keep biting it. Oh, okay, okay. I apologize. I really, I, I was sincere about the comment thing, uh -huh. but like, <laughs> chopped a hole in the side of my face. <laughs> Comments matter, Anyways. and and I will respond to them all. She will respond to I, some. It's really hard on mobile, and pretty much I'm out of the house all the time, not on a computer. But I read them all. Like, it's so much fun to go in there and see people talking, like, to each other and to yes. us. And we really enjoy just, like, the responding to The whole people, point so. was to be a part of the community. So if you don't talk right. to us, we'll just blast at you through Into whatever device you're on and just while that's still fun for us it's right. not as fun as if you communicate with us even if exactly. you just say hi I'll say hi back yeah. and then I'm happy yep please comment desperate face yep anyways okay so floss tube two two is <laughs> dedicated to Kona Kona is a bird yes and let me point out, I call them all chickens. We have mm -hmm. we have several. Not one of them is actually a chicken. Mm -mm. I call them that because I can't say bird. Kona? No, no, you're supposed to translate. <laughs> I, I was like, can say you Kona. Can't say Kona. I named them all things I can say. Yeah. I can't say birds. Yeah, she can't say birds. I can't say parrots. Parrots. Yeah. Yeah. So what one. am I supposed to call them? I call them chickens. So yeah. please don't turn this into some like poultry police. police. <laughs> Oh, the not chickens. <laughs> we have yeah. no chickens. No. But you will eventually probably meet them all. Well, so just, I feel like we should just start off by saying we have four, right? And there's Kona, Kevin, Tango, and Omelet that we call Ami. Well, Oms. Or Om. Um, well, they all have multiple nicknames. True. So. But this one's dedicated to Kona because yeah. I got Kona when she was one and she was our first chicken. <laughs> I can't say it! She's a chicken! <laughs> At the time, I called it a pigeon, but now I've modified and she's a chicken. Right. And 
Oh, she turned two shortly after, and I sang happy birthday a bunch of times, probably 500 times that day. And then I started saying to her, Connor, how old are you? Two. How old's the cones? Two. And I said this every day, just because I'm an idiot. Every day. And she well, looked amused. She, she didn't know very many words either. No, she, she knew really didn't and talk high, much. And that was pretty much but it. But she so. did look amused when I said that to her, mm -hmm. so I kept doing it. All of a sudden, one day I was in the other room. She won't talk directly to me. She won't. Oh, if she's I'm in shy. the room, she won't talk to me. She'll talk to other people, but she will not talk to me. I was in a different room one day, and I hear, two. And I'm looking around like, what the heck said two? It wasn't the dog. There's nobody else here. We didn't have the other birds at the time. No. So something is saying two in this cute little Elmo voice. So <laughs> I realized it was her. So I yelled, how old's Gona? Silence. How old's the cones? Oh my goodness, I was so amused. We I must have done that something. 600 times yeah. over the course of like the next two weeks. So fast forward, she turns three. I say, happy birthday, like 500 more times. Yep. I say, Gona, how old are you? Because she's three, I sing happy birthday. She's three, she should know. She's three. <laughs> Silence. How's the cones? Two. No, no, Gona, you're three. Two. <laughs> no, you're three now, you're a big three. Two. <laughs> Fast forward, she's now four. Connor, how old are you? Two. No, you're four. Two. And she will she's fight you. stubborn. She will fight you. Here, two. Yeah. Two. Two. So Alyssa was at the cabin this weekend and she was able to record it. So she'll put in a clip here, someplace, so you can see Connor with the two. So that's why Floss Tube two has to be dedicated to Connor. And I'll stop saying two. Now, because if you weren't annoyed before the year now, no birds making noises, but now you've got me too, too. <laughs> Cute video. Hi, how old is Connor? Oh, how old is Connie? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so that was Connor. She's pretty cute. Okay, so today is the projects that I have started, my whips, that don't have a place to live. They go to the cabin with me, I spin the little wheel, whatever the wheel says, my hand is so distracting. Whatever the wheel says. Hi. Friend. <laughs> whatever the wheel says, I take to the cabin. Let me put my hand here. Yeah, especially because this might be like messing up with the microphone. I might hear Could this. Could be. We have a microphone. ASMR. Oh yeah, maybe I'm yelling. Shh. <laughs> this is ASMR. this has gone to creepy now. Anyway, <laughs> these are the projects, the whips, that I take to the cabin and I stitch whenever I have time, which hopefully is a lot, sometimes not so you much. You might want to reiterate on what your permanent spots are, not necessarily oh, yeah. projects. In so. case you didn't watch the first one, which, I mean, why wouldn't you have, but... <laughs> I'm squawk, totally kidding. Squawk, <laughs> totally squawk. kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Valid point. <laughs> If you didn't watch the first one, we showed the permanent projects. Those are the ones that have a spot. The Chatelaine is in my office. Keto is actually right next to Alyssa right now on that lolly stand. And my deep lagoon is downstairs in like the kitchen. Living room, yeah. And then your hade is in your living room. Well, currently it's in my bedroom, but typically whatever. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's stuck. Yes. So these are the things that go to the cabin. And she has a spinning wheel for to determine what she takes to the cabin so she can work on them. Not like this is real hard. Fortune, like not a big. That'd be kind of cool <laughs> though. I'm be, not gonna lie. <laughs> would be. It's just the app tiny decisions. Like think everybody has it. So well, I won't show it to you because everybody has it. And I'm not going to the cabin this weekend, so I can't spin. So we have to go to a wedding. I know. I forgot. Oh. I didn't put two and two together. Yeah. Yeah. I have to go to a wedding. I mean, yay! Congratulations. But you know. I have to <laughs> <laughs> Why do I don't get to go to the cabin? Yes. So today's just going to be the works and progresses that don't have permanent home. Okay. Right. So my first one, I'm going to try to go by age. I just have two. I have five. So I'm going to go by yeah. age and I'm going to go with the oldest, which Alyssa has over there. But wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I'll show it to you first on the, the, the pattern. <laughs> I just got scolded. <laughs> Very concerned. <laughs> Bad Alyssa. I'm just gonna keep my hands here. You tell me when to do things. Okay. Forever. It is the castle, Teresa Wensler. And as I pointed out to Alyssa when I pulled this out, this is not the pattern I use. I have the hand 
I don't know why I'm looking at them like it's behind me, but I have the hand-drawn one. That's the one I use. So I know I also have it in this book, but this is not the one I use. However, this was what was in my project bag. So it's this, the castle. I, I, I have to do a, a close up right? Yes. With the thingy. Okay. Excuse me. No, 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 no. Look at your turn. I lost. I I'm not going to take responsibility for this. Somebody. I didn't move it. Somebody lost the thing that connects the camera to the tripod. So you need to put a finger behind the screen and then use your thumb to hit start. Harder, harder. It's not an iPhone. It's like there you go. There we go. Okay. okay. Wow, I got right on my forehead. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrifying. Okay, we're gonna go this way. <laughs> that is the castle. Lisa Wensler, there's kind of a glitter on that. Remember, you want to hold it on there longer than you thought you That's wanted to. That's true. You can always edit it out. If you like my armpit view in the other <laughs> shot, I'm <laughs> pretty sure that's what it is. Yep, it is. Okay, let me stop this one. I was bad. Oh, I was bad. I hit the chair again. Okay. I'm sorry. Now she can hear I can touch it, right? You can touch I it can, now. I can, I can move touch it. it. Which it is going to require a little explaining because I bet nobody's ever seen a cream like this. <laughs> this oh, wow, it's so when big, I was I'm young. like, don't fit in. Do you want me to move Wombi? Here you go. This, um, moved. I know you care about the sewing, but I'm going to talk about the, the cream thing. Back in the day, in the 90s. When the dinosaurs were on the air. <laughs> in the 90s, 1990s. <laughs> this was the kind of frame my mom used. We didn't have Q-snaps. I don't think Q-snaps were a thing. If they were a thing, I didn't know. They may have been a thing. We didn't know. We were hmm. We were rich like that. <laughs> my mom had one of these, and I wanted one. So I asked my husband. He wasn't my husband at the time. We met in high school. We were high school sweethearts. We were almost married then. We weren't married yet. And I asked him to make me one, and he did. Really? Funny thing is, this was sitting up against the wall over here a couple of weeks ago, because I had pulled it out, because uh, I, I spun and I had to take it to the cabin, and I pulled it out. And he walked in to say something to me, and he said, I remember that. And I said, oh yeah, yeah, you made it. And he looked at me like I was stupid. He's like, I don't sew. No. I was like, no, 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 you didn't make the, no, you made the frame. So he picked it up and he's looking at it. He's like, I didn't make that. I said, yes, you did. He said, no, you would need a router for that. And I'm scared of the router. And I said, yeah, but you weren't back then. He's like, oh yeah, okay, I made it. <laughs> That's so anyway, cool, I didn't know that. That's how far I've gotten. I wow, just like that it's pinned in, like with yeah, the little it's, pins are so colorful, but I totally yeah. stab myself, like. It has been on this since the day I stuck it on sometime in the 90s. It has never come off. I know it has a, well, you can't see that. <laughs> it has a splush. Yeah, a splush. I, I'll clean that when, when I'm done, but, uh, and I know that there's a mistake. I don't know what I ate an hour ago. I don't know what I did last week, but I remember from almost 30 years ago that there's a mistake down here, <laughs> someplace. Mm, I forget which side it's on. See, I can't remember that, but somewhere down here there's a mistake. And I thought, I'll just fudge it. So I'm fudging it. I'm not sure what I'm fudging, but I'm fudging it. And I've only worked on this once and not for very long at the cabin because Dina, half stitch, cross stitch, mm. pretty sure that's her name. She was doing a Teresa Wensler, and there's so many blended colors, so mm -hmm. many blended colors. And her advice was, and I should have pulled the thing out, her advice was to um, pre-blend. So you take mm -hmm. the six strand from one, the six strand from the other, separate them all, put them all together, and bobbinate them that way. So it's just another color, and it's right. not, you know, oh, I have to blend these. Right. So that's what I've been doing. So when I took it, I mostly bobbinated. I did stitch a teeny bit, but not much. So let me close up you over and, here. And also notice again, we got a little clay by Cam Dragon on this one. By Lee, it's a she, castle. she Actually, Steve got that one. Yeah. You don't get credit for that one. So I, I so cannot see this. So I'm just going to do stuff. I mean, I can and help. hope you can see. Technically. I'm a helpful Honda person. I see nothing. Oh, yeah, you got it centered. You just got to go up and down. Yeah, I know. You're doing real good. I almost poked you in the eyeball. I see that. You're very eyeball. Cool. That's why I have safety glasses Tell on. me when I get to, like, the end. And that's the end. Okay. 
So there you go. You have to hit the button. I'm not risking I'll hit my the life. Button, but you gotta move that. All right. It has been moved. Hoo-hoo. And since I got up, I'm just going to please hold. Uh, <laughs> next chronological youngest. <laughs> next. You know what? Mine technically is like real old. Yes, but I was gonna do two, and then you do one, and then I'll do two, and then you do one, and then I do one. How's that? Okay. Whatever just happened, I don't know, but we're back now. Mm, no idea what the last six minutes included. <laughs> so this, this is the, how do you say that? It's not the oldest, because that was the oldest. It's Second the, oldest? Second child? It's the, the not quite as oldest? L least old, no, no. less. Less oldest. Less older. It's less oldest. <laughs> er. <laughs> but not by much. I'm guessing that one was 95. It's probably 94, but I can't say that. So I'm going to go with 95. This, I think, is closer to 98. This is a wedding thingy majigger. Mm. Yeah, that's kind very of very similar. Sea, but just trust Actually, me. It's a wedding thingy majigger. Very similar. Well, I did buy them both. Yeah. Um, what do I want to tell you about this? This, the, this was, I did this before we got married. Duh, it's a wedding sampler. And then I didn't finish it. I got most of the way done. I didn't finish it. I need to stop moving my hand. The wedding sampler thingy with the glitter. Mm, if I turn it that way, you can kind of see. Now you're dizzy because I keep moving and I'm shaky. And... Did I mention that I'm wet because I took a shower? I don't think you did. <laughs> okay. She she took a shower. Her hair is ah, moist. <laughs> That's yep, right. It's good. Okay. It says stuff and I get confused about what it says. Like, does, does that make sense? Okay, so I had done a lot of this, but I didn't finish it. And then we've moved a few times. Mm -hmm. Bobblehead over here. <laughs> we've moved a few times and somehow I lost the pattern. I have no idea when or where. And I've looked over the years. I knew it was something about a hydrangea, but I mean, that doesn't really help. So I've Googled off and on through the decades trying to find it. I couldn't find it. And then one day I was watching FlossTube. It was Kyle, Stitching and Sound. And he said he went to the hive mind of Stitch Mania on Facebook to ask whatever he asked. And I was like, what is this witchcraft he speaks of? <laughs> what is a hive mind and what is Stitch Mania? I mean, I know what Stitch Mania is, but I didn't know there was Facebook Stitch Mania. So I joined. You know, they ask you questions. I always answer somewhat comedically. I was a little shocked they let me in. <laughs> she <laughs> does that for all in. Facebook groups. It's like That's a test. True. <laughs> You want to make sure I'm a person and not like a robot, so I give you it's very clear answers. it's not a robot. <laughs> I mean, honest answers, but I throw in a little funny in with it. Not like knock knock, but anyway. So they let me in, and I asked a question, and I mean it was within minutes. I knew one how to clean it because it was <laughs> really dirty, and people threw that out. I knew what the the toilet was with a link where to buy it, which I immediately bought it. And three, there was a woman who actually had stitched it. I've never seen this other than mine. She had stitched it and offered to just send me the chart, which obviously I declined because, you know, one, I already bought it. Two, I would have felt guilty. I would have had to pay it anyway because that's just me. But, uh, so I bought it. It took forever to get here. But it's a Sudbury house, and it's actually called, I believe, Grapes and Hydrangea Wedding Sampler. Mm -hmm. Uh, let me see so if you the were names close. Are. Hydrangeas and grapes wedding sample. Mm. I was close. I was close. Talk about old school. But um, yeah, I love the patterns that have the, just the picture on the front. <laughs> like it's literally just a printed picture, you know, and yeah. then they glue it onto the front of the folder. Yeah. No hate. It's just, I really think that's interesting. So I really think I could finish this if I could just work on it, you know, once. I took it to the cabin one time, but it was one of those weekends where I was like, rebuilding the cabin essentially and I only got to stitch for a couple of minutes but there it is also see there's another clay by Kim <laughs> it's like she likes clay by Kim or something 
So I really think I could finish this in one sitting if I could just get but a chance. But you keep saying that, and it's been like... I haven't... It has, it's only come it hasn't on the come wheel up on the, the one wheel. time. That one weekend where I stitched me being out. Yes, yeah, so what do you have? You just have up here? Up there, and there's some... <laughs> <laughs> up. Up at the top, which you can't really see, and there's some woods um. there on this side again. This is a, you point. I hold you point. Words Wood. over here and, and then this top section up here. And some cross, uh, cross stitching. Back I stitching? have to do some cross stitching. <laughs> some back stitching. Yeah, yeah you, you actually have done more from when I last saw it, mm -hmm. so you did have time. Yeah, some I did point. some woods and I did some. I almost said that's stuff. wrong. I was born before then. Yeah, you were. Shh. Don't be telling people <laughs> that. What is wrong with you? <laughs> you mentioned it last time. Why did it say cancel? Don't cancel. Because you're focusing on your your thumbnail. Okay. There you go. There you go. Oh, okay. While she's doing that, I'm going to take away our cheat. Um, so that way we don't look at ourselves. That way we're looking at you. I'm sorry for not doing that sooner. I apologize if I showed you armpit or anything else odd. <laughs> That's an odd statement. <laughs> <laughs> Every statement of mine is an odd looks, statement. Oh now, my doesn't gosh! It? Like, what are we doing? Are we filming? <laughs> <laughs> That's how my brain is all the time. There's like a bunch of little things. I'm oh like, I was trying to swim, but I don't really know why. <laughs> you have my permission to show you this while I fold this back up. Oh yeah, okay. So, similar to that wedding sampler, it's basically another wedding sampler-ish thing. <laughs> but it's like looking different directions. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just pretend you're not there, it's um, fine. So, basically, I think mom was starting to get into like cross, like hate stuff, and it just looks so intimidating to me because like the fabric is, just, you know, it's so close together. How do you even see where what so your squares are that you're working with and everything? And so she actually has a lot of older stuff that she's just kept over the years. And so this was one that popped up. And this is why I was saying I lied last episode because I said, hey, it was the first cross stitch thing I've cross stitched. I didn't, I did start working on this one. I never finished it. I would like to finish it. Um, but so you see it's uh, Dimensions and it's the United Hearts Wedding Record. Mm. So that's what I was working on, just to see if it cross stitch was even something I wanted to do. Pause, please. And you can just leave that on, because okay. I'll be hand you this one in a second. It's not my thumb. I don't want. There we go. <laughs> you could use your thumbnail too. It doesn't need the uh, heat. Ah, snazzy. Well, it's okay, actually that old needs technology. To focus, but... focus. Ah, now people aren't dizzy. <laughs> So it's kind of similar to your your wedding one, but it's I mean it's just I mean it seems pretty pretty basic, pretty easy. I thought yeah I could do that, and you know it allowed me to like just practice stuff. So that's how much I have done. This one also needs to be cleaned. And as you can see, like I still need to do the back stitching for the words, and then there's still some back stitching to do for outlining like the leaves and stuff. Um, but basically, I mean I got probably a quarter of the way done with this when I decided I really really want to do a hade. <laughs> so then basically everything I got done after a quarter way was uh, while I was waiting for hade stuff to come. Because uh, I was really excited. I mean she actually has a stash of DMC too so we were kind of able to put together most of my hade with DMC. That you just had. To I know. And not you. <laughs> you don't have to shh. <laughs> um, so I was able to start pretty soon after doing this one, but that technically is the first cross stitch I did, so I'm sorry for lying. I and didn't mean to. All of those last three that you've seen were all on Ada. I don't know what counts, whatever it was called. Yeah, for I mean, mine looks like probably 18, right? Or 14? I don't know. It probably says 14. Um, yeah, yeah I was going to say, I just saw it 14. 14. Yeah. yeah. I mean, so that was really good for me so I could learn how to see the squares, I guess. I don't know how to say that without sounding stupid. <laughs> but you know what I mean, right? Like, because when you're just looking at fabric, it's hard to be like, how, where do I go? I, I can see the squares now. Whenever I look at fabric, I can just see the squares. Good job. I know. 
So proud. All right, go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this one, I actually looked on this weekend. This is the first one I ever did on something other than Ada. It's for you people who hate Ada. I just like that she has all these bags for her projects. I didn't notice them before. Amazon. That's pretty cool. I don't want to break the zipper again. <laughs> I know. Like that pretty much everybody's going to know what this is. Yeah. Everybody knows what this is. It is out of print. It is Villa Mulebulia. No idea if you can see that or not because she turned the thing around. <laughs> now I can't see nothing. I mean, it's probably right. So I'm going to do this over here. Ha! Fingernails better. Yeah, see? She yelled at Steve this weekend because he got one of the birds close to the pattern. And she's like, don't touch it. Well, it's out, it's of, out print. of print. <laughs> um, you could have left it on again. I could have. Yeah. I could have. Stitch and Mommy is also working on this. I was just watching her in Floss Tube this morning. She's working on this little, I can't say it, so I'm going to call it a vase. She's working on the vase thing. And her goal... Earth? Is to yeah so, I can't say it has a plant in it so I, I don't yeah, think I don't it know. is her what goal is, is to finish that plant thing by the end of 2019 I'm working down here so I'd like to finish the bottom maybe. you probably can't see I'm just I'm petting it it's okay maybe they call it a pot I don't know but the <laughs> that doesn't matter I, just... I never loved the fabric color because I wanted to do something wild and crazy and different for my first like dyed sort of thing yeah but the pot and vase plant holder thingamabob you don't actually stitch most of it it like this whole you, I don't know if you can see oh, but this whole back it's section it's it's not stitched it's the color of the fabric so you can't go too yeah. crazy because then you have a weird colored pot urn vase plant holder thingy Bang. I I did this is mostly Cross country, but there's a little bit of poking I started recently just because I can't count and it's easier <laughs> that way. So forgive the few things, I keep them threaded too. Would it shock you if I told you that there is also a clay by Kim on this piece? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how much of that you can see. You should be this, able to see all of it. But uh, I've been sure. working this weekend, I was working down here. I just love the colors on this one. I mean, the pinks and then the purple blues, like these two colors are my favorite colors when they're next to each other. So it makes me so happy every time I see it. And like the checkered padded too. I mean, I don't know. It's just the colors are just so vibrant and beautiful. You existed when I was working on this. In fact, this is the last thing I think I stitched before I stopped stitching for over a decade. And I had done most of this. Uh, the only thing I've worked on yeah. since I pulled it back out it's just this bottom thing and a little bit up here and a little bit down there. Yeah, I was going to say, I know there's some stuff. On the you know how people talk about dye lots and how important that is? <laughs> Let me just show you something. <laughs> Let's do a little looky-loo. I need to turn it this way so I can find it. And then we'll do a little something something here. Cut that out, please. <laughs> <laughs> you said it. Okay. <clears throat> I'll show you over there, too. But this, this purple, how it should all be one color and it's not. That's dye lots. That's P P. Oh my gosh! The <laughs> it's the symbol. The symbol what on the pattern is P. Oh. It's three thirty three, which is a pretty concern. purple. And you can it? see it oh. right here. You can see how it yes, changes, old that. to new. Yeah. So yeah, dye lots matter. That's I mean, a it just twenty looks like year it difference. Was two different colors. Yeah, it's I mean, not. It's fine. That's one color. Okay, let me show you the dye lot issue, and then I will show you. Oh, I gotta like point at that right in here. Can you see that? Is it focusing? There we go. How that changes? Yeah. Tie lot matters. Let me show you the whole thing. I really hope you can edit this. I don't know when to stop. <laughs> Hopefully you saw it. I think you saw it all. So that's what I was working on this weekend. That's my weekend. Yep. I can verify she was working on it. This one <laughs> is old and new all at the same time. Where are you going? Sorry, I'm so thirsty. Come back. Am I that <laughs> no. you just walk away? I'm sorry, I keep looking at my water. I'm so thirsty. Go it's ahead. old and new at the same time. Uh -huh. It's new because I just started it like a couple months ago. It's old because all the materials I had bought 20 years ago. 20 something years ago. Uh-huh. 
You sound so interested. <laughs> Lavender and lace, Celtic summer. I like Celtic. Just the word. It's a good word. Celtic. So I had a moment. I thought that was autumn, and I was like, "Wait, <laughs> that's the wrong one." <laughs> nope. I'm going to leave that on. Yes. Okay. I have a story for this. I'll show it to you. I don't even have oh, to open yeah. the whole thing, but I'll. <laughs> she it's, wants you to look. At it's the, the whole thing. The fabric. But let me. <laughs> yeah, the fabric. You can't get the fabric anymore. Just kidding. No, I'm not kidding. You can't get the fabric anymore, but not the Nina Nina part. That's Celtic Summer. Jacob's trying to call me. I had to hang up on him. I told him what we're oh, doing wait. today. Oh, wait. Let me try that. There. Is it over there? There we go. I'm going to leave it on because I have a story. Story time. Can I buy Kim? <laughs> I wasn't going to point it out this time. Straight but... nail on that. Okay. <clears throat> Foot Lombie's gonna hold that. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, a bit. Let me tell you first of all what that is because I was just saying I know what it is and, and it is. In Wait, fact, what, I'm gonna what, show what this to what the fabric is. I'm gonna show oh. this to you. Maybe somebody can tell me what the fabric is. It's called Violets in the Shade. It's sugar maple, but I am confused by what count it is. It's clearly Belfast, but is it 28 or 32? You tell me. Focus, please. There we go. Yeah, violets in the shade. But I don't know what count that is. I just bit my mouth again. Mother! <laughs> okay, so. I had what I thought was everything I needed when I bought this a bajillion years ago. Back then, needle paints were easy to get. Needle paints are these bluesies and purplesies, and if you can't see this, you have no idea what I'm pointing at. Just trust <laughs> me, there's bluesies and purplesies in there. It's a special floss. I think it's Egyptian cotton. I don't really want to dig around and find out, but I think that's what it is. And they were made specifically for these patterns. Autumn also uses it, but not the blues, just the purples. Hmm. Well, I thought I bought them all. So I was all excited. I had the fabric, I had the patterns, I because there's more than one pattern in the series, but I had patterns, I had needle paints, I was ready to go. I pulled it all out, went to do a floss toss, just to make sure it all still matched, <laughs> nothing <Looks> changed. <laughs> hmm, that's odd. I'm missing some needle paints. I was missing one of the purple ones, maybe two of them. Not a big deal, you can kind of still get those, but I was missing a blue one. I had two of one and none of another. So I think they may have been hanging incorrectly and I... Everyone's been to Michael's and rearranged well, this was not the Michael's DMC. Thing. That's true, we do. We, we actually got a discount because I was telling them I did that and the woman was so thankful she gave us a discount. We were literally at that Michael's store for probably an hour and a half. We were just... Were we, I think we were picking up my universe in a jar colors, were we I not? I think so. But they have people always put colors in the wrong bins. And why? So we actually went there and reorganized all of them. All of them. But yeah, so when you bought them, they're probably in the wrong yeah, spot. Yeah, that's what I assume happened. So we know better now. <laughs> I was pretty determined I was going to use needle paints, but I thought I'll just use that on DMC. No big deal. And I had read that you can't mix and match DMC and needle paints with this. And I was like, yes, you can. So I have a master's set. My husband was kind enough for Christmas to buy me a master's set of DMC and it's in this beautiful Sorry. thing over here. I'll show you that next time. Um, so I pulled out the DMC for that one and I threw it up against other needle paints and I almost passed out. It was bad. It clashes. It isn't just, mm, would that maybe? No. It's instant. You no. might have a picture of that. Oh, I, I think don't think so. It to I me. don't think so. I it, don't it was, think so. It wasn't very good. It's awful. Compatible. <laughs> it's not compatible. Like the tone's different, the color, it's just everything is wrong. So then I was like, what am I going to do? So I did what a logical human being would do and I went online and I tried to find that, I think it's 2104 is the number, and I tried to find it everywhere. Track like, it down. It doesn't exist. I yeah. called some pretty obscure countries. There was some <laughs> weird website she was showing me. She's like, do you think I'll get a virus if I contact these people? <laughs> I, didn't, I don't think I did. 
I contacted them, but I don't think I got the virus, and they didn't have it. In fact, they were like, oh, we didn't even realize that was on the website. Sorry, we'll take it down, and they took it down. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, so, I, I did what I thought might work, which was to try to find conversion charts for everything. So, like Cullen Cotton, Thread Gathers, MPI, mm -hmm. I mean, you name it, a Verisois, like everything. I was googling to see that DMC if I could convert it to something because maybe the conversion was slightly off like the needle paints was off and maybe I find it I bought all sorts of stuff nothing nothing came close I went to hand dye by Rolanda and decided at this point there's no more conversion charts I'm gonna eyeball it I'm gonna <laughs> eyeball it based on my monitor color and this is gonna work it didn't work I did find one hand dye by Rolanda has <laughs> has a <laughs> relegated she nailed all the needle paint colors it's really it would work if you were okay with variegated but I didn't think that would look good because it it goes down like in here someplace in here someplace and I, and then it's up in the lettering and stuff and I thought this doesn't this isn't gonna work I can't so I was not giving up. No. No, I was not. So I did the next best thing and I started watching YouTube videos on dyeing floss and fabrics. This was my first foray into dyeing. <laughs> and dye I did. I ordered lit dye off of Amazon. Oh, did you think about that one? That was good. I don't know. It just came to me. <laughs> I, I got this stuff from Amazon, the, the little pipettes, like I, I have it all going on. And one weekend I put on a cute little apron and I put um, chicken paper, because I can't say it, <laughs> the craft paper we use oh, in the bottom of the cages. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> no. And I put that all over the counters and, and I died. I did buy the Ecru instead of white for the DMC floss because I figured the white was bleached and therefore it would have stripped out some of the ability to absorb the dye. Mm -hmm. So I went with the Ecru instead and that did seem to work. I, I bought four skeins and I dyed them Very different unique. variations of it. Would you believe right. it was the first one that I dyed? The first thing I ever dyed it turned out to be the right one. Mind you, I don't know what color 2104 is, but 2103 was one color, 2105 was another color, and I had figured it had to be between the two. So as long yeah. as I was just darker than one and lighter than the other, right? and that's what I did, and I threw it up on Facebook and said, can anyone tell? Do, do you see a problem? Is everything okay? Everybody said it looked fine. Yeah. But in the process of doing that, I stumbled across a woman that had two. Oh, two, right. Two <laughs> sets, two full sets of needle paints. So she offered to send me the 2104 and I think to her but I declined because I did not want to break up a set. That just... Oh, exactly. <laughs> that would keep one whole person from being able to stitch this. Right. So I was like, no, 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 no. I dyed it. I'm okay. We got to talking back and forth for a while and then she um, said that since she had the two full sets, could she send me the purple set for Autumn because I was just going to do a DMC mm. conversion on Autumn. So she sent them to me. I offered to pay her 1500 times. Not $1,500. <laughs> I was going to say 1500 times. <laughs> and she said no. And she sent them to me. I have them. And I will use them for Autumn. Funny thing was a couple weeks later she emailed me and asked me if I knew how to get a certain thing. Which I did. And oh, I good. sent them to her free of charge. So good. we'll even Steven. So... <laughs> So that is my, my Celtic summer story, which Alyssa can edit out if she found it to not be interesting. <laughs> I do not have that power, <laughs> nor would I want to. <laughs> so that's my clear. longest story. Your turn. Is it my turn again? Your turn. It's my turn again. I didn't actually really prep this one very well. I'm okay, so uh, in case you didn't know by now, mom is evil. <laughs> don't, don't open your mouth like that. <laughs> she is, and the reason well, I don't know why, but the reason I say <laughs> <laughs> the reason I say she is is because do I not have, oh, there's a picture. <laughs> School all day, tired. Uh, I don't know. Why were you even on the website? Why did we bring up one, two, three, stitch? Ing, stitch. One, two, three, stitch. 
think we were we discussing because you were going back to school. You were you trying. No, 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 no. You were trying to show me something that was on there. Oh, probably broke. She was trying to show me something that was on there, but then she pulls it up on one, two, three, stitch, and oh my gosh, I fell in love with so many of them. <laughs> it turns out I have a soft spot for animal ones. Like I really want to just do like a bunch of little animal projects and then put them like all over the walls of a kid's room, right? Like wouldn't that be so cute if I stitched like all these little things for these like little people? Cause like, <laughs> cause my universe in a jar, like it's going to take 10 years. So, and that's one framed piece of art. So if I can do like a hundred of these, <laughs> that would wow. be awesome. So this is the one I decided to try first. Cause I think I was just like least scared of it. So it's a little monarch butterfly from Mill Hill. And it's the whole kit that comes with it. So it's on that little, perforated paper stuff, whatever, and then there's some back stitching involved and a little bit of beading. Um, and I am definitely having a lot of fun with these. It's so different from doing a really large project. It gives you a little bit of time to just do something different that's like less, I want to say less hard or less work, but it's a different kind of hard and work. So that's what I have so far. I mean, like, honestly, I started it probably a month, month and a half ago, but like, I do this one um, sometimes when I'm here, like if I stay for dinner or whatever, but I also plan on, uh, focus, <laughs> I plan on, he's getting sick, <laughs> put your hand behind it maybe? Oh yeah, I think it's seeing you. Well, I think it's seeing you. There we go. There. Um, so I just have to have the beating to do on that one. Um, and I think I'm going to start bringing those to school because I have a three hour break in between classes and I do a lot of homework during that time, but I also do a lot of for fun reading and I do, um, that thing <laughs> gets me every time. <laughs> and then I say, shh, because I was really, um, I, I think I was just saying I do a lot of reading and stuff. So I'd have a little bit of time and like, this is something I can even pull out in the 10 minutes before class starts. Cause it's just so little, it's so easy, and if you already have your needle threaded for whatever you're gonna do next, like you just do it. The only problem is with beading because, you know, it's very easy to knock over <laughs> your beads. <laughs> oh, that's I like you have to like, like, oops. <laughs> <laughs> you never done that, like where you have it sitting somewhere and then you like pull your thread and it like. I use a tacky bob. I can fling well, it across your tacky bob. You should get a tacky bob. So one, two, three, six, <laughs> six tacky bobs. So um, don't let me go back on there because um, this is the one I'm working on. But I bought four or five, I think, all in one go. You'll see them next week with stash. I'll show you next next week. I I bought so many. They're just all these little animals. Oh, they're cute. Mel just needs to keep making animals. They they still like make things, right? Yeah. Okay. They need to make more animals. If you work for Mill Hill, make more animals. Okay. So final one. This is another head, and she's gonna trigger warning you. Yeah. Well, trigger again, warning. triggering warning you. Just warn. General warning. Uh, like we mentioned in the last video with our heads, especially we do a lot of parking, um, and we keep everything uh we keep the threads there we keep the threads needles needled <laughs> we, yeah, keep the, we keep the we keep the needles <laughs> threaded <laughs> we keep the, all the of the stringy strings, strings are attached stringy. to the sharp stick, <laughs> sharp stick. <laughs> um and again when there's a lot of colors it looks complicated but you can pick up any color and it won't tangle and it's fine so just a warning and there's a lot of needle minders on this <laughs> it has a lot of needle minders no clay by kim a lot of... no clay by kim on you this you just one. have your julie ones huh julie <laughs> julie <laughs> julish <laughs> tee hee so <clears throat> there's your warning Pardon. and she will put a picture up someplace because i don't have a color print of what the yeah. pattern not the yeah. pattern the picture <laughs> is this is a hate it is i, I almost this. said angry birds close ugly yeah ugly birds bye i have no clue still mochetti 
Zero. Zero? Uh huh. Like Machete. zero, but C I S O. Zero. Zero Machetti. Machetti. Marchetti. Zero yeah. Machetti. That's a hard okay, word. Can you tell them that? Zero <laughs> Marchetti. Thank you. Just I don't put it on the screen. That. I should stop saying <laughs> things. I now, you know what things. we didn't mention last week that we should have? What? Oliver hates a 25 count. Two yes. over one. Yes. <gasps> I know. I, I put it in the description last video, but I don't know if anyone actually saw it because we forgot to mention it. And I know that that is This shocking. is a confrontational subject. <laughs> Controversial. Controversial subject. When somebody posts about 25 count two over one on Facebook, I would say 95 out of the 100 comments <laughs> are... It's too bulky. Never ever do you that. You should do one of the one or one of the 50,000 other options with tent and different yeah. size fabrics and blah, 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 blah. About five people are like, yeah, I do that. No problem. And it's, We're it's, two of the five. Yeah, exactly. And it's because of the technique I used to stitch that it's not a problem because this is crazy confetti. Yeah. I know it doesn't look that bad right now, even though, I mean, someone's like having a seizure at the moment from watching, looking at all of that. <laughs> but, but. She's petting it. <laughs> She's well, back here petting it. I, I haven't really taken a look at your back, and I don't know if you're, you want to show people your back. Oh, okay. It's not crazy. Judge. Judge but, away. <laughs> Judge me. Go I was, ahead. I was just looking at because it, it is really thick. It because, is thick. It's like a tapestry. Because your, your confetti is so confetti-y, but we don't... I mean, I don't have a problem with the two over one, right? And you, you, mm -mm. the way you're doing it is okay. No, I, I kitted up others two over one for the 25 count because I like it. Yeah, actually, I think that back looks really, really good yeah, for I'll being so confetti. Back. I'm not even sure mine looks that good, and I have less confetti than you. Judge away. It's okay. <laughs> I can take it. So, that's the only other hate I have going at the moment. Is that one? I'm, that one's not a mini, though, is it's it? It's a strolly keep. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, so, so it's, it's like the, like a bookmark. Yeah. Very big bookmark. So I think that's it for Stitch. Oh, she's going to show well, me something. Yeah. So, um, as I'm sure most of you know, I'm going to burp. That's not what you knew. <laughs> <laughs> We're sad. Um, um, a lot of people have been talking about Pattern Keeper, and unfortunately, we are a family of Mac users and so iPads. Unfortunately. In this case, it's unfortunately. That's true. <laughs> Um, so Jacob and I were brainstorming about what we could use to get Pattern Keeper without having to like jailbreak or iPads or whatever. And I realized I have an old Kindle, not like old, old Kindle, but like one of the original actual tablet Kindles. Um, so I was going to use that. And then last night when I got home from school and work, um, I tried to find the charger and I couldn't because it's like, you know, it's like a micro USB or whatever, mm. but when all you have is Mac stuff, you just have Mac chargers. And I couldn't find that one charger. I found one, it was actually a car charger. So this morning I put it in my car and I tried to plug it in. Yeah, but the cord was kind of broke and I think it like came apart and it didn't work. So actually the Kindle's in my car right now. But last night, while I was looking for a cable, I realized Jacob has a Samsung tablet, like a brand new one. Like maybe two years old, a Samsung tablet. Jacob's a boyfriend, in case you didn't watch right. Boss Tube One. Yeah, we live together in a house, Shh. not here. Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> so um, I I don't know why he didn't. I think he just didn't want me to take it, honestly. <laughs> um, but I, I don't know why he didn't bring it up earlier. So I took his tablet last night. I found his charger because this is a really weird charger. I have no idea where that's from. And then I downloaded it so that way I could show her what it's like. I haven't seen it. So um, what's on here right now is my universe in a jar pattern. I was not able to transfer over because uh, we use easy no no we use um, good reader. yeah we use good reader currently on our iPads to mark off our stitching for our Hades um, and I wasn't able to transfer over the one that I had already marked, so I don't know if it works or not. Uh, so you're gonna see part of the pattern for Universe in a Jar. I mean, just don't steal just it. Don't it. It's just like, it's one page, yeah. one page. Um, but she hasn't seen it at all yet, except for the videos she's watched from other people. So I just thought it'd be kind of cool to show her. Um, we're gonna move the cameras real quick so you can see a little bit better. Um, I don't know how this is gonna go or how much you're gonna get to see of this, but I'm just gonna show mom real quick 
what Pattern Keeper looks like. So. There it is. Okay, Let so cut out all that that you couldn't find. Nah, it's fine. I'll just fast forward. Okay, so here's Pattern Keeper. So you can see it was really easy to upload my file in here. You just hit the add button and then it came right in. It processed it for a few seconds and then it was done. So this is my universe in a jar. She'll try not to make you dizzy. So this is actually, because I did some stitching the other day, this is actually, I've been using it for like this whole square section over here. Um, now here's the difference between um, Good Reader Good reader and Pattern Keeper, okay? Is you're moving around. You have to have it on the movie around thing. If you yeah. have it on this, you can't do pinching to move. <laughs> I did that so it. many yeah. times. Yeah, that video I watched, that was the same problem. <sighs> but... You thought what would be really cool <gasps> is that there's no page, like, yes. see? Is it true? Is there no page break? I, there's no page break. Oh, look at all these. These are all the different that pages. That is amazing. I love and how it does it in the in. same colors that it actually is. Right. <gasps> see, nobody's mentioned that page thing, and yeah. that's what I'm stuck on keto right now. I'm on the last column of mm. page six, and I mm -hmm. have to keep the binder in my lap right. so I can highlight that. Well, See, you'll notice so that in this it. one, I did start going off onto the next page because I can actually see it. And I didn't do it for the rest of this, right? Wow. So, but I was concerned because, as you can imagine, doing all of this, mm -hmm. re-putting it, because it was a blank PDF when I mm. downloaded it into here. Yeah. So, like, how do you... You just, highlight everything. There's a special thing. I know about the you special thing. You do know thing. about the I special do. thing. Yeah, so you hit your little markup button. Mm -hmm. I think you hold it down, right? Mm -hmm. Yep, select and you can select all. all the stitches in the square or on the entire page. Bam! Highlights them all, and then you have to hit, hit the check button. But don't do, do that. Don't do it. Well, so how do you do the plug threads? Because that was the one thing I was worried about. Yeah. How much of a project is it to right. plug the thread? I'm going to say they could optimize it to be better, but it's not bad. So, like, you'd mark it, click it, you'd hit more down here. So mm -hmm. that's one click extra you have to do. And then there's no way to set it so it auto does it. Okay. So then you'd have to set it again. Well, in all honesty, um, it doesn't really matter which corner you, you say to plug it in because you know. Right, you know exactly. You it. Well, 9 I know, I was shocked Holy last cow. night because I thought it was going to be like 1%. I really did. And when I put everything in, well, I mean, it thinks I did like 20,000 stitches last night, which is not true. Good job. <laughs> but I couldn't believe I'm almost at 10%. But it makes sense because when you can see all of the pages all at once, mm -hmm. I mean, that's the entire picture. I love this. I want this. There it is. A cabin. Now we're going to move on to the cabin. Cabin. She did come this weekend, so... I did. Jacob and I both came because it was Dad's birthday. And he wanted homemade pizza, mm -hmm. which... I mean... Okay, here comes the judgy stuff again. Go ahead, judge me. <laughs> I don't love pizza, but I love him. I had to make pizza that I didn't really want. And we had to make eight pizzas because we decided to do individual pizzas. Yeah, and then he last minute invited two other people, so we had nine people, eight pizzas. It's okay. Listen, I don't eat much. We shared yeah, one. <laughs> but that's a long process. We're making dough and sauce. And, and one, of, one of the people has dietary restrictions. <sighs> he basically can't eat anything. anything. <laughs> um, but the problem in this particular... Well, there are two. Well, this, the problem was that he can't have oil of any kind. So in, in, in the dough, a lot of the recipes say you should use oil. So then we had to like do a test run to make sure it wasn't... Like, going to, I don't know, disintegrate without oil or something. Yeah. Who knows what oil does? We're not, yeah, we're not chefs. So <laughs> I follow recipes, the recipes work. We're not. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> we just ate dinner. Oh, you can see me doing that. I also forgot the clothes meal, which made it really hard to slide things on and off, and the pizza stone was on yeah. the barbecue, which ended up breaking, not the barbecue, but the pizza stone, it, it was all... It took hours, it took hours. I was on my well, feet a good 12 hours. And, and then we also had dessert. So we made I mean, a pineapple upside down cake, which took an hour and a half or so. And we don't have a yeah. dishwasher. It's the cabin. The cabin, yep. We use basically every freaking Dish. utensil that we have. I was washing dishes and I said, I didn't even think we had this many dishes at the cabin. And dough sticks to everything. Don't try and to flowers hand wash on dough. everything. 
We should have just started over with like remodeling the kitchen. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> but she I should mean, be putting in a picture, a video, or something yeah. of the the pre eating. Pre yeah, the post chaos ish pre enjoyed pre guest arriving. Yeah. So then earlier that day, while we were doing all the cooking, she took a quick break when they tried to install the bell. Yeah, so remember, or you might not, but in our last <laughs> episode, we were talking about how she got him this really big train bell. Doo -doo. Ding ding. And <laughs> clang clang is more like it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and so we showed you the picture of where, where, where they were planning on putting it in the, uh, against the cabin, and they did attempt to do that. So, um, Here's the footage of their first try of getting it up on the side of the cabin. Ready? Down. I was hiding in the kitchen. Yeah. So then they decided that they were going to... We, we have a Jeep that has a winch and then um, one of the other cabin people up there has a uh, off-road vehicle that has a winch and so we were using his winch to winch it up that first time but uh, dad decided that it would be a good idea that sounds bad it actually was a good idea I didn't mean to say it like that but <laughs> <laughs> he threw the winch over the cabin um, the winch cable <laughs> The winch was still attached to the jeep. <laughs> the winch cable over the cabin, so that way the that winch could actually support the two pulleys that would hold the actual That's so complicated. Bell. The thing flew so over. So that way it can't detach stuff. from the cabin, basically. Yeah. So then they did it again. After it took a lot of shoving because it was hard to get it. Like I mean, this thing's so heavy, but. Everyone got it up there. Everyone's safe. Everyone's good. Um, we rang the bell. Yeah. yeah. So that was what we did this weekend. And we stitched. And we jeeped. And we yeah we did jeep. I I have some pictures and video of that too. I'll just like throw like one or two in. Um, I yeah, I mean we just did some jeeping. We did some stitching. I took a video of mom. She took a video of me. And of course, if you have any questions about anything, like, I'm an open book. Yeah. I'm, I'm not judgy, and I, I ask anything. Mm -hmm. Ask me my shoe size. You haven't seen my feet, but I'm, I'll tell you. Okay. Wrap it up. Sorry for taking up so much of your time. No, we're not. Not really. <laughs> Again, we appreciate you coming back or visiting if this is your first time. It was quiet. It's so much more quieter. Ish. Hopefully. I mean, I guess I don't really know for certain. Sounds quiet. And on the... I forgot when I was showing it. The Villa Mutabilia, if you're still here and you care about stitching. I need to do something about the name at the bottom. I don't know whether to leave it Villa Mutabilia. Mm. Or if I need to change it to something. Let me just remind you, it's down here at the bottom. And I've tried to kind of Google to see what other people do, and, and there's just not that many finished ones that have been posted online. So if you have any ideas about what to change that to, or well, if you think I should leave it, Milabilia. Yeah, I mean... I'm open. I don't know what to do. And I'm at the point where I kind of needed to make a decision. Yeah. Great. Okay. That's so it for now. now. We're really done. For realsies. For realsies. For realsies. So thank you. Thank you for yeah. coming. Christine, stitch um, on you. Uh, Shelly. We will see you next week. Thank we you. We hope to hear from you. Please comment. Toodles. <laughs>